Wow, it was the summer break after my sophomore year at high school, and it was July 19th to be specific, during which time I had less than 100 subscribers. If I believe correctly, we had around 40 subscribers, give or take a few. Of course, one of the challenges and one of the endeavors that every YouTuber struggles against or strives to accomplish is spreading your passion your ideas, your ideals to a wider group of people while trying to maintain a sense of community or a sense of, in my case, optimism and enthusiasm for learning within the community that you already have. And accomplishing both objectives for a long period of time is very difficult. So during the summer of 2017, I was trying to come up with a series, a series of content that may draw in viewers while encouraging the old viewers to bond in a way that encourages communication of ideas, creation of ideas, diffusion of ideas in a flexible environment. And what I finally decided on is that we are going to host one weekly math challenge problem every week where the problems are put together by either myself or my younger brother, where the problems are inspired by a variety of sources, post the problem to the YouTube channel and recognize some of the correct solutions in chronological order. So that's how the weekly math challenge essentially began. Mostly because I am now going to college starting this fall and I wish to focus more on my academic, social, and other aspects of my personal life, I decided that there has to be some adjustments made to weekly math challenges to make it feasible for me to upload a problem every once in a while. It's not necessarily going to be every week from now on. So we adopted a problem submission system. Before this was adopted, as I mentioned, my younger brother and I put together the problems where many of the problems were very close to being original, while the other problems were inspired or heavily inspired from books I have read, from the papers, from articles, academic journals, or ideas discussed in my classes, ideas from my teachers, my friends, my university professors, and so on. And of course, many viewers posted solutions that were refreshing, elegant, and different from what was intended, and those ideas in many cases were featured in the solution video as well. And I express a sincere gratitude to the mathematical expositors who have improved my mathematical maturity or my mathematical knowledge, and to those who supported me or contributed to two years of challenges. So the 95th challenge was the first result of the problem submission system proposed by Denise. We had 57 unique winners when we only look at the first submitted correct solution over the first 99 challenges, which means we have more people to recognize. And here we go. First, I recognize Irving G for being the very first winner to any weekly math challenge for the third challenge. Now we righteously recognize Gabriel N, who had an amazing 14 solutions that were first submitted. And he is the first place for this category. The second place is held by Arlian Soman, who had four first submitted correct solutions. And the third place is held by F. Marco F. Marco, Essentials of Math, J. Love, and Min Kong Guyen, each of whom had three first submitted correct solutions. I recognize Gabriel N. one more time for a separate category of most consecutive first submitted solutions, and he holds the record of three, with challenges 55, 56, and 57 in a row. Thank you very much for supporting Weekly Math Challenge I had never expected to get to the 100th challenge and I suppose we will repeat part of what I have just done when we get to 200th challenge, is that even possible? Anyway, before I show you the 100th challenge, let's follow the tradition and go over a few points. First, again, if you're interested in proposing a problem, please email one to letssolvemassproblem7 at gmail.com. One problem will be posted every 7 to 31 days and I highly encourage you to comment your answer along with an explanation below keeping in mind that only unedited, non-reply comments will be accepted. Up to the first 10 people to correctly answer the problem will be recognized as follows. 
First, Ellen Lago for being the very first person to correctly answer last week's challenge. Congratulations. Also, congratulations, Sebastian Tragilia, Pavel, Stepan Smid. Congratulations, Adam Depp, Santosh Tripathi, Prakar Agarwal. Congratulations, Constant Teen, The Entertainment Show, and last but certainly not least, Pashu. So after 99 weeks of butchering names, we have arrived at the 100th challenge which was proposed by Yasin Jaoi. And the problem is, find all ordered triple ABC, where ABC are real numbers, satisfying the following system of equations.